Hi, my name is Chris Seistrup. I'm from Lost on a Bike, and today I'm going to go over the system that I use for the Coconino 250 ITT that I did last week. Uh, my goal was to go as light as possible. There's a lot of hike a bike on that route, and I wanted the bike to be nimble as I rode through Sedona and through some of the other really rocky trails that were on the route. So uh, I went with the lightest sleep system I could. I keep all my clothes and everything in the back here so that I have pretty easy access to them just by opening and closing the, the seat bag. Uh, I keep my water in here and then water here. And I also pack a few other things in here from time to time. Um, food up here and then a few other items. So uh, first of all, my sleep system, I only need to get into it one time a day. So I keep everything all bundled up real tight in here. I packed everything so that when the bike was laying down on the non-drive side, I'd have really easy access to everything right in the order that I would need it in. My down quilt packs into a pillowcase type bag real easy. I left that because I can lay it on the ground and it doesn't get dirty or anything. Got my bivy. Inflatable sleeping pad. Ground cloth. Silk sheet. And the bags that everything went in. So you can see it's not quite in the exact order that you would normally use it in, but that's because the last night of the trip I didn't even use the ground cloth. Uh, I just laid the bivy right on the pine needles and, and slept on the ground. It was plenty soft enough without needing the inflatable pad or the, the ground cloth. But um, every other day I had it all packed in exactly how it needed to come out to lay everything down and went right back in in the same order. In my seat bag, where I kept my down jacket because you never know when it's gonna drop to get real cold and it got plenty cold. Um, I had my light from at night bundled up inside of the, the jacket so that it wouldn't be bouncing around inside my seat bag. Daytime gloves. So that's where all my gloves are. Winter gloves, fingerless gloves so I can eat with them on. More gloves. So I have my hot weather gear, some, some arm coolers, some knee coolers, and a sweatband for my head. I also kept my pump in here just so it wouldn't be rattling around inside my frame bag. Sunscreen. First aid kit. Hand warmers just in case. And my backup headlight. Uh, and also some smart wall boxer briefs just because they're nice and, and breathable and comfortable after you've been riding in bibs all day. I didn't wear them while I was on the route. <laughs> Um, we'll go over this first. So my top two bag, usually that's where I would keep my food. I got a few Fig Newtons left over. Um, also keep some electrolytes up in front and some drink mix. Uh, keep all those things handy. Whatever food I can stuff in here, I'll usually have in here at all my refills. Same goes for the the two stem bags, load those up with calories, little bite-sized pieces so I can just nibble on stuff the whole time. Uh, through my, what is this called, a, a buff, my neck gaiter, also my face cover, ear warmer, whatever you want to use it for, it does all those things all at the same time real good. I always keep my Allen wrenches handy because you never know when you're going to need them and 
I don't want to have any excuses. If something needs adjustment, I want to get right on top of it. If it's something for fit, I need to adjust the seat height. I want this to be really easy to get to, so I'm not putting it off because, oh, I have to take everything out of here to, to get to it. I, I want them to be really easy to access. Kept my headlamp in there. Uh, I was planning on using this for when it was when I was going really slow, but I ended up not using it this time. Uh, I did use it while I was camping though. Brought a whole bunch of batteries uh, for my headlight system I was using. I got about four hours of, of light from the headlamp, uh, or from the headlight on each set of batteries. So I got quite a few extra, but better safe than sorry if, if it, you're gonna be in the dark. My lighter that I wrap with duct tape, some eye drops just in case I get something in my eye. You never know what's going to happen in the forest. And the used batteries that I didn't want to just throw away. Uh, in my frame bag, I got a few things stuffed in there now. Um, my knee warmers that I had just taken off. Keep my extra bottle of stands up there, but I keep that inside a plastic bag because I've had these explode and get all over my stuff before. Charging cable for my phone. USB battery pack and other spare cables for the GPS and the, the lights and everything. I try to keep it all together in one handy bag. So anytime I need to charge, I just pull this out, plug whatever I need to, to plug in. Um, this one battery is 21,000 milliamp hours and it just barely ran short. Um, you can read about that in the, the story I wrote. Um, and then I keep a two and a half liter MSR bag in here with some wet wipes. The other side I keep my wallet and, and a couple of Tylenol in. That's all that really fits over there. Um, also on the bike, I've got my two one liter bottles. My toolkit's up here. I couldn't leave the toolkit on up front the whole time. When I was in Sedona, I had to take it off because the tire, when the suspension would compress, the tire would hit and it, it was dragging up on here. So I had to take that off just while I was in Sedona. I threw it in my backpack. Um, it was not too big of a deal on the rest of the course. Um, just something to be aware of if the suspension is almost bottoming out like it was in Sedona. Um, had my backpack on. This is an ultralight bag that I can pack up super tiny, but uh, I wore it pretty much the whole time because I always had food in here. I also used it to, to do some quick layer adjustments. Um, arm warmers and, and cold weather or cool weather gloves. I packed my ultralight wind and rain protection this time. Bright colors so if you're on a road at night people can see you but both of these my pants and and jacket both fold up real small. Very very light. They're not Super warm, but they keep the wind off of you, and if you have other layers on underneath them, it's not too bad, and that was the whole point of the kit, was just to keep layering on items and taking things off as I went. I ended up having to buy a charger while I was at, uh, in, in between Williams and Flagstaff, and then some more electrolyte and, and caffeine replacements in here. Uh, the bike is a new 27.5 plus Karate Monkey. Uh, I ran a 1x11 drivetrain. The front chain ring is a 30 tooth and the rear goes up to a 42. Um, maybe, maybe it's 46. I don't know, I'll remember that. I think it's 42, it might be 46 though. So. Um, Toolkit. In my toolkit, I've got chain lube. I did have to lube the chain three times on route because it was getting kind of noisy. 
I got a spare tube, just a regular 27.5 tube. Uh, it'll stretch to fill 27.5 plus tire. Haven't had to use one of those on this bike yet. And then my little roll up toolkit. In here I pack my uh, chain tool, extra valve stem, I've got a tire lever, the valve core remover for the tires. I always carry extra zip ties. Uh, I've got my multi-tool. It's got screwdriver and pliers and everything else just in case I need it. And then I also always carry a, a patch kit got a spare cleat. I didn't have spare brake pads because I just put new brake pads on this bike before the ride and I knew they'd last 250 miles. Um, I got some spare chains, some chain links, and my tire sew-up kit. Hiding in the side panels here, I also have a boot for the tire and uh, patch kits for uh, Gore-Tex stuff and patch kits for the inflatable sleeping pad if I ever needed them. Uh, they pack real nice into the side panels of this. Um, I had no issues with the bike at all the whole time. Everything ran flawless. I didn't even have to put air in the tires. I did run 16 PSI front and rear for this ride, which seemed to be a pretty good combination. And I think that's about everything for the bike. Uh, I also wore my, my favorite bibs. Everybody has their own favorite bibs that work for them. Uh, I wore a, a baggy short over those to help keep me warm, especially in the, the evenings. Um, I had a wool ultralight base layer t-shirt that I wore and then my, my Lost on a Bike jersey over that. And I always had my, my cycling cap, but everything, the, the, the whole system for the whole ride worked out perfect. Uh, the temperatures ranged from 91 degrees at the hottest all the way down to 19 degrees at night at the, the coldest. So uh, real happy again with the way everything worked out. And I hope this helps some of you guys that are, are packing up for two, one or one or two night adventures. Um, thanks a lot for watching and until next time, thanks for, for supporting Lost on a Bike.